those who strive to turn the clock back will not be successful because the uh, arc of justice uh, bends toward that which is good and uh, that which is right. African Americans have, have been through the storm. We've been through slavery, we've been through segregation, we've been through all of that. And yet, look where we are today. And young people who are kind of anxious about how we are and how we can proceed have to understand that we've come a long way. Surely we have a long way to go. But when you look back and think about from whence we have come, it gives you comfort to know that, in fact, we shall overcome. Some of the things I try to tell young people today, that the perception of evil sometimes is worse than the reality. And you have to be very meticulously careful about how you react to situations. And so while we understand that there are dangers all around, you understand if in fact you are aware of where you are and what you are about, and you're about peace and harmony, then I think you can draw people to you instead of driving people away. And uh, Martin used to say that if we're not prepared to live together as brothers and sisters, then we're gonna die as fools. And that's the ultimate reality for any nation, for any community, any people who cannot understand that, um, that justice, equality, and, and righteousness in terms of treating folk as they should be treated, not with the color of their skin, but the content of their character, is the way that we build a beloved community and the way that we build hope for the future. And, and so we're not going back. We, 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 we're going to go forward.